coming up, our last Titan TV broadcast of the year. A look at the band and choir concerts happening early this week, track results from the last two meets of the season, saying goodbye to our 8th graders. And of course, this week's news and so much more, you're watching Your Titan TV, by students, for students. This is Titan TV coming to you live on tape from Northside Middle School Studio 105. This is Monday, May 24th, 2021. Now let's take it to the news with Addie. Good morning, Northside Titans. Can you believe it? It's our last broadcast of the NMS News for this school year. And sadly, for some of us, it's our last broadcast with Titan TV. Because of that, today's crew is almost completely made up of 8th graders as we get one last chance to be a part of this program. With that said, I think it's time for some news. Tonight is our Titan Band Pop Concert. Actually, it's the closest thing we could get to a virtual bandorama. There will be performances from both Southside and Northside's beginning bands and 7th and 8th grade bands. Make sure to tune in to hear songs by Journey, Queen, Survivor, the musical Hamilton, and so much more. The concert will premiere right here on Titan TV at 7 p.m. tonight. Tomorrow is also a night filled with music. Our Titan choirs will premiere their pop concert as well. Hear performances by Titan singers, beginning choir, and citations. Watch the choirs sing and dance to songs by Carol King, The Jackson Five, Andy Grammer, and so much more. This is a can't-miss event premiering live on YouTube at 7 p.m. right here on Titan TV. I can't believe it's our last time saying this, but you like jazz? The Titan Jazz is having their last club meeting on Wednesday. Didn't they do a great job last week during the variety show? Remember to enter the building at door 8 at 8.15 a.m. Wednesday also features the snow cones at lunch for anyone who did not receive a referral this past month. What a great reason to enjoy some sweet, icy, sugary, colorful flavored goodness in a premium styrofoam cup. That's all I have for news right now. Let's send it over to this week's meteorologist and my very embarrassing sixth grade crush, Jonah, to hear about our weather forecast for this week. Smitty? <laughs> Thank you, Addison, for that news update. Let's take a look at the weather. Today is a beautiful day with a high of 86 degrees and a low of 67 degrees. The rest of the week looks to be sunny as well with the temperatures in the 70s and 80s. What a great day to finish the school year out. Today is National Brother Day, so maybe you can be nice to your brother for once, or maybe he could be nice to you. Well, that's all the weather and National Days. Now it's time for Sports with Drevin. Muncie and surrounding areas, I'm Brandon Hayes, director of 3rd and 11. I would like to send out a special invitation to the boys and girls K-4 through to participate in the first annual 3rd and 11 football combine. 
In conjunction with John Frank League, Muncie Parks Department, and the NAACP, this event will include a timed 40 yard dash, 20 yard shuttle, three cone drill, and much more. So mark your calendars for Thursday night, June 24th, and Thursday night, July 22nd. Bring your family and friends to see it, believe it, and achieve it. Thank you for your support. Thanks, boss. We also want to remind all of you eighth graders about the voluntary golf practices happening this summer. Starting on June 7th at 8 a.m., the team will practice daily from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Interested eighth grade students need to complete the form available in the office. Contact Larry Alexander, the golf coach, with any questions. What a great year of sports. You can say that again. What a great year of sports. Okay, okay, let us out of the drumming box. What a great year of sports. No, <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't say that. <laughs> clap, clap. <laughs> we want to thank all of you who came out to any of these events this past year. We also want to thank all of you who were a part of any teams this year. Without all of you, there would be nothing to watch. We here at Tiny TV have enjoyed playing a recapping of all exciting from this past year and can't wait to bring it <laughs> over. What do you mean? I'm gonna be in the light. Shut up. And can't wait to bring it to you live next year. But until then, this has been Sports with, wait, Sissy, this is your last time on Tiny TV. I think you deserve to end this segment. Really? Yes, I'll see you all next year. This has been Sports with Drevin, hosted by Y'all Boy Drevin and Y'all Girl McKenna. Now let's hear what Titans are celebrating their day of birth this week. Aaliyah? Thanks, Drevin. Here are the Titan birthdays for this week. Lanzel M, Sanaya G, Jalen D. And here are the rest of the May birthdays. Nishan J, Addison A, Malia F, Alexis B, Nyasia M, Hannah B. Happy birthday to all of those Titans. Now it's time for Trivia Challenge. Last week's answer for Trivia Challenge was Charlie and the Chocolate Factory by R. Doll. Mrs. Jackson class was the first class to get the questions correct, and Miss Collins' class was the first to earn double points. Here's the top five on the first period leaderboard. First is Bracken's class with 105 points. Second is Pierce's class with 100 points. Tied for third is Jackson and Teal's classes with 65 points. Fourth is Cardi's class with 50 points. And tied for fifth are Collins, Newman, and Turner's classes with 40 points. And here is the top three on the fifth period leaderboard. In third is Collins' class with 120 points. In second is Cardi's class with 125 points. And our quarter for fifth period winner for Trivia Challenge is Mrs. Jackson's class with 190 points. Here is this year's final trivia challenge. This was the first year for Titan TV. How many broadcasts have Titan TV put on this year, including not just our news broadcast, but also concerts and interviews? Remember to wait till the end of the broadcast after the credits to send in answers to NMSTitanTV at gmail.com. That, that is all for the trivia challenge. Now let's send it back to the new studio one more time with Maddie. Thank you, Aaliyah. Looking at that number of broadcasts we've done makes me forget that Titan TV is only six months old. With that said, let's once again get back to the news and finish this last broadcast Eighth out. grade high school finals are finishing up today and tomorrow with algebra and geometry. If you need to go back to some of our past broadcasts, and you can find some test-taking tips that might help you out. Chromebooks and hotspots are being collected starting today. Make sure to get all of these devices turned in so you do not get charged. Some of you failed to charge your Chromebooks before school each day this year, so why would you want to charge on your bank account now? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Tomorrow is a two-hour release day. School will end at 2 p.m., so we will be on a modified schedule. Enjoy those two extra hours outside of school. Think of it as a preview of the next two and a half months. Wednesday is our first day of award celebrations. Our sixth grade awards will start at 9.30 a.m. on Wednesday, and our seventh grade awards will begin around 10.30 a.m. Sixth grade classes will be brought down to the auditorium for the award celebration, and the same will happen for the seventh grade cl classes right after. These celebrations are only open to students, but a recording of each one will be posted on Titan TV Wednesday evening. Then Thursday is our eighth grade recognition. 
This program will highlight our 8th graders and their achievements and contributions they've had given here to Northside these past three years. This ceremony will start at 2.30 p.m. on Thursday in the auditorium. It is only open to 8th grade students, but will be live streamed right here on Titan TV's YouTube channel for classes and families to watch. A recording of the stream will also be posted that evening as well in case you miss it. Good morning, Titans, and welcome to our very first NMS news broadcast. We here at Titan TV hope this broadcast will help to keep you informed and connected every week. That was the first thing I had the privilege to report on here at Titan TV, and is still true today. Faces may change, graphics may change, setup may change, but our mission here at Titan TV is for you to stay connected and informed with Northside Middle School. We would like to thank all of you for watching these past months. Our crew here has had a great time producing concerts, interviewing some people, and of course, bringing you the news. With that said, it's time for us to wrap things up for the summer. As always, make sure to find us on the socials where you can see what goes on behind the scenes. Also, make sure to check out all those names at the end in the credits. They truly are the ones who make this production run smoothly. From all of us here at Titan TV, I'm Maddie, and this has been your Titan TV News. Hi, students, for students. Stay classy, Titans. That's a wrap. That's Yay! That is all I have for news right now. Let's send it over to this, this week's meteorologist and my close friend Jonah to hear about what we... What did it say? What was it? Hi, Pierre. Or do I just read this? I don't know what's going on. Here at good old Northside, I'm never going to say that after today. Oh my God. She won! The crap won! It's not my fault. I'm Ready? tired. My calves hurt. Right. <laughs> Take two. Again. Take two. Here we go. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Only weirdos say okay, you like jazz. Okay, go. Okay, go. Dennison okay. would be the one to okay, say you okay. like jazz. <laughs> it's wait, Kendall. Oh, you got it. I'm gonna get her. I'm gonna get her. <laughs> Jonah, you have. Fire. Yeah, you have bonfire in the middle of a You have a bonfire. It's a concrete bowl. If we record the news, <laughs> we'll turn the table. Go get my dog. No, no one wants to see your dog, Maddie. <laughs> Actually, I kind of want to see your dog now, even if no, it's not part of the show go and go tell. Go get your dog and see when no one will want to see it. Oh boy. Okay, let's do this one more time, one more again. This has been a thank you production.